Hey, good morning, everyone. Today we are going to be spending some time out there with the chickens. It's chicken coop clean day. So we're gonna get that taken care of. And then we have some things to take care of with our tortoise as well. So we're gonna get all that done. Enjoying a little bit of coffee, making sure I'm ready to go for the day. Hi guys. Are y'all enjoying this cool morning? What are y'all doing over here? So the first thing that we had to do was, of course, replace one of the windows on our coop. As you can see, it's missing a piece. So we got a new piece of plexiglass and Jeremy's getting that all screwed in so it's nice and secure so we can keep our girls safe. Guys, this plexiglass is almost double the thickness. I couldn't find a piece that was the factory size, so I went ahead and use, I'm using some self-tapping screws rather than the screws that came out of the chicken coop. Let's see if I can find one and show you. Let's see if we can come right here so the, it'll focus. I couldn't, from the factory, they couldn't get them tight because the screwdriver heads were just rounded off. See that? And that's just long enough to where we're not going to poke through the other side. And that should be way better, more secure with the thicker piece of plexiglass. Matter of fact, I could actually come in here and put one right here. I think I will. Just to make it that much more. Yeah, it does, I can tell. So these are the four of our newest chickens and they always seem to hang out together. The white one is named Katniss and the Rhode Island Red over there that is our rooster, his name is Peta, which if you don't know, that's from the Hunger Games. The little gray one is a Blue Rock, and that's Maddie's chicken. And even though it is a girl, her name is Bob. And the little black one is a Sumatra, and I'm not sure if that one's a girl or a boy yet. And that is Layla's chicken, and its name is Jip. So, we got some silly names in with all of my chickens are named after the Hunger Games, but the girls each have their own personal chicken that I take care of, but they get to name and say that they're, they're chickens. Cowboy, what are you doing? Come here, cowboy. Cowboy, come. Cowboy. Come here, buddy. Come here. What you doing? Are you messing with the chickens? You're just being a good boy, aren't you? Good boys for just watching the chickens and not chasing them. We've made definite progress. Well, 
we put a uh, what do we call it? A training collar on on Gunner. A stimulation collar. Yeah, it's politically incorrect to call it a shock collar. So when you go to Tractor Supply and say I need a shock collar, they say we don't have those. We have stimulation collars. Oh my goodness. So uh, my chickens love broccoli. So one day I took a head of broccoli out there and they were jumping up at it. So I thought it would be fun to put it on a string and see what happened. Uh oh, they already see it. Hey girl. <laughs> they're jumping for it. Ready, let's go. Uh, no, Gunner. Oh, he's wanting to know what you got. <laughs> Alrighty guys, like I said before, we had our little first cold snap on October the 11th and uh, we got to get our tortoise squared away and what we're going to do, we're going to get his little tortoise hut cleaned out. I've already swept it and blew it out and he slept in here last night with no bedding so we've got some bedding uh, to go in it. Hey Rotini. Doing, bud? Hey, bunny. Hey, bud. You ate all your food. Well, what we've got when it gets super cold, now I don't have this on right now, but when it dipped down to about uh, 37 the other morning, uh, we had to put the heater on, and we also have a ceramic heater here, which he likes to bask under. So let's go ahead and get him squared away and. Uh, may do something a little different I don't like him being in here with a heater that he could rub up against and possibly damage the heater or himself so we're probably going to get something that mounts on the wall or maybe a pig blanket style heater but what we've got going right now as you can tell a couple weeks ago we planted some uh, a lemon tree and a uh, lime tree and right over here we have our compost bins which we just turned over and then we planted a fig tree right here by those giving it some water and this black gumbo out here in the northern part of uh, northeastern part of Texas is just hard hard as a rock but it's you know good rich black soil and as you can tell me get out of the light Don's digging a hole for a crepe myrtle and 
and I think that's probably deep enough, sweetheart. Just set the bucket down in there first. Oh yeah, you're good. Purpose, mom, uh, so the viewers will know about uh, you know composting and whatnot. And, uh, if you don't have a whole lot of rain, it's always a good idea to uh, moisten your compost pile. What is the main reason? It helps break everything down. Keeps it turning it, and that one was just turned. This one's been turned. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Get it. Oh, it's stuck. Right there on the end. Somebody said that uh, you could catch the juices that ran off of this. They call it what? Gold? Liquid, go liquid gold? <laughs> Price is right. This one flowered and now it looks like that and then that one's flowering mm -hmm. so i don't know if that's what starts it see how it looks like it's kind of a lemon a little bit maybe but i, I, I don't know if it is that. we need to pull some of these off because that's too much on this little branch right here but i need to research before i just start pulling stuff and when i don't yeah. have them. And that looks like the cent the center of the flower and that and that may be how it starts to be the limit yeah so yeah, and I it think it did a flower and then it now has that stem that's growing that little green thing on it. So I really think it is the lemon, but yeah, we need to pull. That's too many on one branch. Right I there. understand. I understand. So. How about uh, some of the leaves that aren't doing so good? Are we supposed to pull them off? Some of these up here, they're there's new growth on it. Yeah. We just, you know, this is my first lemon tree, and I, I just don't know what's what the do's and the don'ts, so we're learning. This is the last thing that we planted today. We gotta get some water on it. This is the plum tree, and Miss Madison really likes plums, and I did buy her a plum tree, and when I went to go move it, before I planted it, I cracked it and broke it in half, and she had a cow, so I told her as soon as I found another one, I'd buy her one, so she should have planted this, but anyway, it's planted. <laughs> hey, bud. Hey, go ahead and pull that big heater out, would you? I think well, I'm going to go dump this real quick in the car. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, pull the heater out. Yeah. Okay. Well, after we get done later on, before he goes to bed, it's too cold for him to get in his pool, so we need to soak him in the house. I guess we can try to put him in the sink. I don't know if he'll fit, but... Yeah. See. Will you fit in the sink, Rotini? You gonna try it, buddy? <laughs> See, he's getting big too. Yeah. Alright guys, this little white wire is just a temperature probe and of course the green wire is just an extension cord to his uh, enclosure here. And uh, we're fixing to put some hay in there for him. If you look right here, I got the temperature probe up. And we have a probe here and a little probe there. The big probe is for inside the house. We can monitor his temperature from inside our house. So that's a good thing. And I, here in just a second, I'm gonna show you how I've got it set up electrically on the inside of the shop. Probably shouldn't have gotten chopped hay, should we? 
Hey guys, I'm gonna kind of show you around uh, the uh, how I've got this rigged up for super quick rigging. Um, this is basically, you know, you have your your outlet, and I have a uh, a monitor right now. We're at 116 watts. That little heat heat lamp in there or that ceramic heater is putting out 116 watts. I kind of like to keep a track of how many uh, watts and amps I'm running out there so I don't, you know, potentially trip a breaker or something. But uh, this is a thermostat and this has the white wire that I showed you a while ago. And this plugs into your wall socket and you can set this infinite from 0.1 degree Fahrenheit to 999 I don't know how and what in the world you'd want to heat that hot but it'll do it but I got it set at uh, for it to come on at 85 and uh, I mean 84 and it shuts off at 85 now we've got the doors open and of course the temperature has dropped down and now we are on heat so she's working in there and that heat lamp should be working pretty good. It's about 69 degrees in the shade here today and uh, we've got the tortoise pin all buttoned back together and quick win on my show see see how it is yep he's at 85 that's just about perfect. Well, good girl Priam. So we got the chicken coop or Don got all the chicken coop cleaned out looking good yeah, they've already been up here. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> and, uh, oh, found some broccoli. <laughs> so I feel really good about what we got done today. We got Rotini, our tortoise, all buckered in. So whenever it gets cold again, we don't have to worry about him. And the chickens are all cleaned up and they had a little fun today. So we just enjoyed our day outside together. And luckily it wasn't 1,000 degrees today. So. Probably will be tomorrow though, it's Texas. You never know. But anyway guys, hey, if this video you, uh, helped you out in any way, give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a comment or two if you'd like and uh, hit that bell and you'll get all our new videos. Anyway. Prim says bye. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good rest of y'all's weekend and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. Bye.